Hi, I'm John Condon from Prototech, and I'm going to show you the operation of the toothbrush wear simulator. This machine has uh, six stations to uh, simulate the wear of uh, toothbrushes on uh, six at a time. It has this recirculating slurry system, and the brushes are loaded with weights. They're held in individual clamps and on uh, sliding guides. And uh, we're gonna show you how the uh, toothbrushes are mounted in the machine. So you can see how this manual brush is in a clamp. There's nylon screws underneath. It's tied to this plate through a, a hex head screw that can be reached from the side like so. And it can mate to a variety of holes on this plate depending upon the shape of your brush. As you can see, we're going to uh, demonstrate mounting a powered toothbrush and its larger clamp. This uh, inch and an eighth is the maximum diameter, which is a pretty good sized brush. We're gonna plan it for this holder over here. So that's this orientation. We're gonna put the brush in there. I found that Clamping it about that place is the right position to give the right exposure to the brush. And then we're going to use the large hex head screw, place that through this hole. Oh, and I'm tightening these nylon thumb screws too, just to give a little extra purchase on that brush. Then we're using the large Allen driver and I found with this brush using um, the second row for this back hole is the one that's going to give us the ultimate um, range of motion. So as you try different brush combinations, you'll find the different positions are the right one. Here you can see uh, as the um, brush moves back and forth, it'll cover the whole specimen. So next we'll see how to turn the uh, machine on. Over here on the control panel, um, here's the on button. See the speed control, that's for programming, and that's the power to the pump, recirculating pump. Here's an optional 24 volt out to powered brushes. Um, we're going to start by hitting the, you see, you see as you on the keypad as you hit these up and down arrows, it highlights these different elements, run, adjust, manual. So let's highlight, well, let's highlight uh, adjust. We can go through that menu. You can adjust the number of cycles. It's gonna go to in increments of 5,000 um, and how often it changes direction every 10,000 cycles or 12, 11, 10, and enter that. Number of repeats, that's the number of times it starts over. So you can go to very high numbers of cycles. And also, uh, this is controlling the amount of time for this 24 fold output, uh, which is an option. Um, so that uh, right arrow went, um, got us through the adjust menu. Now let's go to the manual. What that is, is manual operation of the motor. So when we press these two buttons, it will um, advance the motor. I've got the speed turned down, so we're going to hit this button. You can see it advancing the motor. That allows you to position the stage for different adjustments to when the brushes are being mounted, say. As you saw, this uh, tray was in the furthest back position when we were mounting those brushes. And you can get to that position with this back and forth arrow. That was handy just to have better access to the brush holder. So that's going to the manual uh, place in the menu and then using these back and forth arrows. This one will return us to the main menu. This one activates that optional 24 volts. You can hear the relay. Um, going back to the main menu, now we can press run and uh, away it will go. It'll run the number of cycles that we um, set under adjust and stop. It'll change direction um, at the right interval too. So here we go with start. 
and we'll want the higher speed too. Um, the first mark on this wheel is, well, it's not on there yet. I'm hitting the uh, 60 RPM. Oh, we should turn on the pump as well. Get the recirculating slurry going through so you see the pump turning and the fluid coming up uh, to the chamber and see it dripping down on the specimens. This brush, but we didn't apply the weight to it. So maybe we'll pause this cycling um, back here at the control panel and press this button to pause the cycling. And over here we'll apply the weight that we intended to apply. It's this large weight is 320 grams. We can add another 190 grams or another 100. And 20 more beyond that to give a total of 600 and some grams. Quite a bit. Plus the weight of the stage, 700 grams is the total load on the brush right now. Then we can resume cycling by pressing this right arrow. And we're back in business. You can see the number of cycles being elapsed on the counter. Yeah, cycling will resume and continue until you know, the, the maximum is reached. Um, stay tuned. In the meantime, let's look at a few safety issues. I mean, panning out on this machine, you can see there's a lot of places that uh, fingers might get jammed if they're stuck in the wrong place. You want to make sure that you keep your hands away from the machine down in here between this chamber and there's weights. A lot of pinch points on here. You could just wrap the thing in caution tape, but we expect you to use caution. Keep loose clothing and hair away. Fingers out of inopportune places. If there ever is a problem, pan out for me. And reach for this button. And that will stop the cycling and hopefully minimize any danger or damage. Um, resume power by rotating it but that that doesn't resume the cycling that just returns us to the top menu and the pump is still on and um, disaster has been averted but it's ready for more cycling if we uh, choose to and those are all of the salient features of the Toothbrush Square Simulator by Prototech. Happy brushing.